<laughs> Real tough crowd in here tonight. <laughs> I, oh, turned, no. I turned all the filters. lights off. Yeah, he done, I, turned all his filters like, off. Like I turned filters the juice cooker on. on. <laughs> oh, Snapchat filter. I hope we talk about church. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, my cousin it's just posted actually, a meme. Oh god. Yeah, nice. I don't, we we said twenty nine and thirty, so who knows? <laughs> Hold on, let me flip back a page. Flip black a page. Fuck black a page. Oh, I have okay. episode twenty seven written down for the last one, but I also have episode twenty seven down written for the one before that. We're seven on twenty was, seven was mon- Twenty six was haunted. Twenty seven was monsters ball. Twenty eight was last week. We're on twenty nine this week. Twenty nine. Hey, and, and if we want to, um, just throwing it out there. Shy gave me a free game, and I'm not going to play it because I've already played it. So he said I could donate it or get rid of it. So, like, we wanted to put it out there for anybody to win that comes in. I don't want to announce it on Twitch. Just if it's something interesting, you know, if somebody that comes in and watches us is just in here and we do a little raffle or whatever for it. Oh, boy. Bling, bling, bling. Oh my god, and I didn't get to play Xenonauts Blood, but I watched a video, and it is absolutely like playing like a remastered yeah, UFO. That's defense. what it's supposed to be. I'm so excited. So... Uh, Xenonauts? I mean, it's okay. it's older, but yeah. It's not that old. It's not? I thought it was, I thought it was, because a, a second one just came out like last month or two. Oh, I don't... Levels, 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 levels. It's only, I mean, I guess five years. It's a long fucking time, I suppose. Eh, I'm, you, look who you're talking to. That's why I would have said a, a seven-month-old game was old, so. <laughs> you know, that M- MLB, the show 2019, who's playing that anymore? 20's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Hello? everybody can Pascal? hear me. Right, there you go. Pascal, back. There you go. I can't hear him. Yeah, <laughs> I can't hear what? either. What's happening Let's with his mic? Up. I think he needs to I... turn it off and turn it back on again. I hate you guys. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. TJ <laughs> gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> I can see like the worry. His eyebrow started to like lower, <laughs> quiver a little bit. <laughs> I couldn't hold it in anymore. Oh, like, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh Lord, Reekers. So the guy, by the way, in that video that killed me in the end, he just literally teabagged me after I killed like two squads and his whole team, and he was just camping in a bush with a sniper rifle, waiting for me to go in the circle, and then he teabagged me at the end. Oh, I kept screaming at your video too. I was like, "Heal up, heal up!" I didn't have any heals anymore in the end. I know, but I was, I was just. That's all I could think was, man, if he would have been healed, he probably would have killed that guy easy. Yeah, that's all right. The uh, video that you watch, one with the two timelines where it goes. With the blue and the red? Fair, yeah. yeah. But still, some of that. I, I just think that there were. What the what? What the what? The what? Um, what the what? The what the what? The what the what? There was. <sighs> Like, I think more. I think they went back more times. Like there were multiple. Think about that's how I felt about um at the party in and their phone call. Part of that phone call where he talks. I don't know how many times. They, they went. They, yeah. they went to smash that guy's truck window in. The guy stopped him. Yeah. He had to have been there before when they smashed the truck window in. No, I agree. I just felt like there should have been more. Even three, because you were telling me there was three. I think there should have been more than that. Only like four. Allegedly (sighs) only went back once. That's what happens when, that's what you get when you put a time machine inside of a time machine. They're lucky they didn't come out with squades. 
<laughs> what was with the ear bleeding? Was it having an effect just, on him? Yeah, just too much time travel. Gotcha. I think. Time travel. We'll call it time it. travel sickness. They didn't yeah. take their too. They didn't take enough drama. I mean, yeah, can't fucking write right. I noticed that early on in the movie. Yeah. I just thought maybe he drew funny threes because we never saw anything before that. Let's go. Creaking. Creaking. Huh? Oh, in here. Did you know Pascal has a dog? Did you know Pascal's had a dog for a year? For a year? A dog? Did you know Pascal's dog only has three dog. legs? It's... Yeah. You have a three-legged dog and you never told me? I mean, my girlfriend had one before we moved together. I mean, she just adopted it. I guess over a year, yeah. Over a year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just said she had one before we moved together. Like, she didn't have it anymore. Yeah, that little son bitch was just sitting back there underneath the table. Well, yeah, we, I just got done watching got fucking It, and there's red glowy eyes underneath that goddamn table. I wasn't going to tell Pascal, just in case, you know? <laughs> watch, oh, you're going to be, let, you're gonna be right? let down. Yeah. Okay, so. I finally Party. watched your video, too. Bow, bow, bow. What I am eating chocolate now. Yeah. When did you watch? That that one Zach posted like a while ago about ASMR from the one oh, that was ASMR. the kid. Is. <laughs> With the kid. Oh, I did. <laughs> My luck, it'll come up on some kind of search, and they'll be ah, this guy right here is fucking. Fucking get him! Watching little kids L do ASMR. Hello, officer. Right? Hi, to arrest me. This is never gonna happen. <laughs> Five, four, three. Hello, you turkeys, and welcome to episode 29 of the Cyber Podcast, a weekly podcast where four longtime friends get together and shoot the shit about video games, TV, whatever the talking about, whatever the else have. Whatever the else hell. Whatever that's works. One of those hell things. Yeah, that's hell, the hell, hellish hell. version of oh, Elsa. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Let it go. As always, I am one of your hosts. My name is Wes. To my left, sexy science shirt wearing TJ. Say hi. I love coitus. He loves <laughs> coitus, and he can introduce the rest of the people. Oh, and above me, we have uh, the one and the only Zach. What up? And up and to my right, I think, maybe you're all's left, who the hell knows, we have uh, the Mr. P42, uh, Pascal. <laughs> so, whatever the L's hell. How are you guys doing? P42. 42. P42. I wanted to say A, so that's why I had to stop. I already fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Numbers and letters just don't go together. Shoot, I have been busy. Busy, busy B. Right? I have not let I, you guys down on this podcast. <laughs> I have not. Same. Oh, this is the first time Blitzkill's seeing you since you got young again. I shaved and woke up this way. <laughs> <laughs> he was accosted in the night. So I shaved about uh, three inches off my beard. That much. Fell into a lumber and woke up and I was young. It happens to all of us. It does. You must have built a primer. I did. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years ago. Take my revenge. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'm sure we have plenty of stuff to talk about this week. We got. Uh, the, a movie that we all watched called Primer that we're going to discuss at length. Uh, then we always wrap it up with some wild and wacky news. But before we get to any of that, we've got to play again. Catch up. Did you have three inches to begin with, Blitz? Oh. Ooh. I remember. I remember. I remember. But uh, before sorry, we get to was... any of that, we got to play catch up, which is catch each other and. So. 
as usual, we're going to start it off with... Nose goes. Pascal. Oh, right. me? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> um, do they yeah. not do nose goes in Germany? What, I don't even know what that is. Yep. Nose goes. We got it. We got it. We'll win this um, every time. We'll win this every time. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, I didn't do a lot. I uh, started, I you know, watched a movie yesterday. Um, bought it on Amazon. No, Xbox movies. Microsoft movies. I don't know. Um, pretty good. Um, watched a little bit more Supernatural. Um, we're now at episode 10 of season 9. Um, video games. I did not play a lot. Um, I played, a, I mean, I played my usual game. A lot battle royale and battlefield. Um, what else? Uh, Witcher. I played Witcher three again. Mm. Um, I never played it on the four K kind of Xbox One X. So uh, Wes had all the expansion packs downloaded and we game share. So I figured um, I bought it for like twelve bucks. I don't and, need this disc anymore. And uh, yeah, I'm like already I think twelve hours in already and. I remember why I like it so much. Um, but Great yeah, game. yeah, definitely. Um, so I finished, I beat it like twice already. already. So that's going to be my third playthrough, basically. But my first playthrough of the expansion. So once I beat the main game the third time, I will then. Are you making over. different decisions? Wait a minute, yes. though. It wasn't that you could play the expansions with the main game at the same time and it doesn't you, you can, have any you can, hindrance you, on it? No, yeah, sort of. You can start uh, the expansions right away and have a preset level 32 build, basically. Um, okay. But I want to do the main... Because i never seen it, and because the only reason I picked it up is because I got the new console now, and I just wanted to see, you know, how it looks like, if it's going to be night and day, or if it's just a little bit, but no, it's... <laughs> wow, it's crazy. Um, it looks a lot better than I, it used to be on PS4 and Xbox uh, One. Um, so definitely makes a difference. Um, but yeah, it's my third time. So, but I want to play it right through, you know, like the main story side quest and then I'm level 32, beat it, uh, finish the main story. And then I go into the expansions with my character that I build. Um, other than that, um, not really a lot different things, I guess. Um, yeah, actually no, no, it was Witcher on Battlefield. That's pretty much it. And, um, my friends on Xbox Live, besides you guys, have the tendency to just send me invites to Battlefield 24-7, whereas I have to go offline or hide my notifications. And I usually give in. Like, when there's, like, a group of five people that I like to play with, um, you know, send me thousands of, you know, play with us, play with us. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> hey, man, um, preaching to the choir. I play so much Apex because I get on, and then TJ's like, hey, you want to play some Apex? Or Shy's <laughs> like, hey, you want to play some Apex? Or Deckard's like, hey, you want to play some Apex? And I'm like, well, fuck, I feel like I don't have a choice. Yeah, but right. that was my week. Pretty short, I mean, unless Wes find something else that I did. I don't think I did. I'm um, so find something else. He's just, he's just always well, because creeping Wes on is, you? Yeah, because Wes sometimes, I don't know, in like later episodes, you hear it too, where he's like, hold on, Pascal, you had this one game you <laughs> Hold played. on. <laughs> like, he's he's like my big brother. I just, always, okay, like, well, okay, me. if I'm your big brother, I want to know. Oh, or bring like this a father. Up, why in the hell am I just now finding out that you have a three-legged fucking dog that lives with you? I, had, I don't never know, just you never, had a dog. Just, Never occurred to me that it's like a big Talk thing. Talk about like, my dogs. Oh, I love the puppies. Oh, honey bear, she's my favorite. You never told me you had a dog. You don't like your dog. Pascal do you? went like it's your girlfriend's dog. And you don't like it, do you? I don't know. I mean, he I doesn't just... like the dog. He doesn't like the dog. <laughs> no, I do. I just like there's never like this never you... came. It never came up. You know, like have you ever thought about the... taking that little doll that turns around by itself and taping it to its to the back of the dog, so it had like a peg leg. <laughs> it would be horrible, and I'll probably be dead. Um, no, but, um, why is my dis oh, Discord? Shit. Don't and don't let him don't let him fool you. He's over here. Oh, I, I played a little bit of Battlefield. Don't want to talk too much about that. This motherfucker, he just posted a video in our chat, and and it, it happened on somebody's who who was that who who was streaming uh, that you were Apollo, playing Apollo 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 K twenty two over on Mixer. He posted a, a video of him playing. The Apollo guy got killed off, so he was just spectating Pascal. Pascal went out and killed nine fucking people, and came in. What was there only one left when you died? One left. Yeah, yeah he, got killed, he got killed circle. by the last guy. He went and killed nine freaking people after dude did it. Fucking gangster. It was amazing. Yeah. Don't, don't be like, I didn't do anything this week. 
Sometimes I think it's his girlfriend playing though because he didn't do that when I played with him. <laughs> Whatever. All I heard was "pick me up, pick me up, pick me up," and then I pick him up, and then I get down. He takes I off think, running across the world. I think he, when he gets on there with those sweaty streamers. <laughs> were we were we playing with Pascal in Apex the other night when we had that guy who just stood there and watched me kill two squads? Oh yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. For for Zach, I'm screaming. He's just, he's out. This guy, this character, Zach's over here is like, like six dudes. Zach's like, ah, 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 like shoot all over the place. Our other guys like this. <laughs> Back to all the fighting, like, just looking out into the open better world. Better them than me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like when I play with you guys, it's more about the fun aspect. And when I play with my That's right. Battlefield stream team people, or whatever, it's always going to be like, hey, you know, like, let's get the best possible outcome like you know so yeah so that's why i'm probably a little bit more sweaty while i play with you guys it's like i sit back relax and you know don't care really about anything um but yeah that's been my week pretty short pretty sweet as per usual um i will go more details of what i did when i actually do something exciting but you know <laughs> um but yeah i mean all you watched was yeah, yeah, I didn't watch any other things. Uh, my girlfriend has a list of this long of movies, but I just figured I want to play video games. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, pretty boring. Oh, so did you play the Techno Man? No, I just uh, downloaded it. But it looks cool. It I looks, looks like a, it looks it looks kind of like a da- it looks like a Dark Souls and like futuristic. I think right. Yeah, it? no. Is that Technomancer? I thought yeah. Technomancer was the first person shooter. No. Oh. Well, then I don't I'm even more excited to check that one out. I don't know. I, I thought it was the um I thought it was like the the one thing, yeah. Like the the Dark Souls futuristic. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We have to look it up. Um but yeah, so that was my week and um hmm, who do I pick? I'm gonna pick TJ. I have one question before you what? pass it on. Yes. When are you joining this stream team and actually streaming? Uh, I actually had a conversation with Wes earlier uh, about this, uh, like which platform and, you know, my main reason why I didn't do it really because I like this here right now is not, it's just like a computer setup and it's a small desk. And if I want to stream, I kind of wanted to have like, you know what, for example, Blitzkill here has or Wes or you all have like a nice desk area where you can actually stream from. Right now, when I set everything up with overlays and stuff, it was like over a 4K splitter over my TV into my laptop. And the laptop was all in the middle of the uh, hallway, like in the living room. I mean, it was the wires everywhere. And (laughs) my girlfriend really doesn't care about that that much, but I do because it's such a hassle to set everything up and unplug it. And so that's why I didn't stream. Now everybody says you can just stream from console. I ask you a question. Do you have um, another Xbox besides the One X? Uh, I don't anymore. I gave the One S that I have, I gave that away to my uh, mom's got PS4? I got a PS4 Pro, yes. Stream some PS4 exclusives on whatever platform you want and then play Battlefield when you want. That way you don't have to, you don't have to worry about the 4K shit. Is it hooked up to the same TV? Probably yeah. is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I think get to you something you. to hook up, hook it up to something close to your computer. That way you don't have to drag all that shit out there. You know. Well, most most of the time, um, like I said, I mean, we're gonna move here in the beginning of June, middle of June. That's three months. And that's three months. And it sounds you like how many followers months. you could get in three months. It doesn't matter to me really right now because I want to have like an enclosed <laughs> setup, See, and I already have a. Thing is, is my shit like you're like, oh, you got a nice desk and everything. My shit is like, I it's not there's not enough room for what I need to do here, but I make it work. It's a pain in my ass. I spent I spent like 45 minutes trying to clean it up today. It's not it's never gonna be ideal, you know. Right, but again, I get that. But my thing was also the 4K monitor. I wanted to have a 4K monitor at least if I don't have the TV. Um, and that's everybody thinks about excuses, but you know, you all have like PCs and they're pretty well, but. I am so used to now the Xbox One X 4K and PS4 Pro, like the super sample go 4K. Back. I don't want to go back. So I don't, just to sacrifice it for the stream, I would never want to do it. Why? I don't, don't own a 4K TV. 
So, and, and that's, you know, I looked at some monitors, they were like for $200, $290. So I'm going to save up for one to just buy it without even putting it on credit or something. So I just put some money aside. But there's a Germany vacation possibly incoming again. We'll be kind of saving up in Florida soon. So it's just kind of like all over the place where the money goes and then the streaming kind of gets pushed aside. But the good news is 90% of the equipment that I need, I already have. So right now it's literally the monitor and the desk is kind of like what I want. And just get a door, um, huh? pop it up on some shit. That's what I got. Yeah, I mean that. That's you know, and right now, like if I think about getting like new furniture, set everything up, like we're moving in like two and a half, three months. You know, like that's. I much rather in the new place set everything up perfectly, hook the wires up perfectly, and set everything up perfectly f- well. And then I'm gonna go back to like every night I'm gonna stream, and it's gonna be easy. I'm gonna be in an enclosed room where I can shut the door in the guest room. I'm not in the living room. So everything is going to be a little bit easier. So that's why I'm not streaming right now. It's just a convenience thing. Like, I don't want to, you know, hook everything up. I gotcha. But yeah. So now that this question is answered, TJ. <laughs> what up? What was your week like? What did oh, you do? What happened? You, you look like um, you had a busy week. Oh, I had a busy week. Work kept me busy. Life kept me busy. We went out of town. That kept me busy. I did get to shoot guns while I was out of town, so that was exciting. And I got down to the property, and somebody had put up a target and just been shooting. I'm like, eh, I don't know who owns this, but I'm going to shoot guns at it. going to so go like, shoot well, here. I'll just shoot their target with my own guns. So that was fun. Um, I really didn't game much, so I'm a big letdown on a gaming podcast. But at least we can talk about some gaming stuff when it comes to news time. Uh, I... Played a few rounds, maybe five rounds with Zach this week of Apex. And that was it. That's all I gamed. Damn. Yeah. I did uh, check out some Xenonauts by the makers of the original XCOM that I always sweat its balls. (laughs) Um, UFO Defense. And so I checked out some videos from it and it looks like the old XCOM and it what excites me about it is when I did turn on UFO Defense the other day to play, I was like, how did this, how did we just think this game was the best game ever? Because the graphics were so bad, like so, so bad. And this game is like an updated graphics to it. I mean, the, the box radius, like if it works like it does, each box is like four movement points. So your character only has so many movement points and then mm-hmm. you're out. But explosions, you know, a grenade will do four boxes of explosion. So that's, it's pretty cool. I saw like a video of an explosion and it did the same thing. You could tell exactly where it was going to stop. Um, some of the aliens, even there was an alien I saw get shot, almost reminded me of a chrysalid in the old XCOM game, except this nice. one looked like it had like robotic armor. So they changed up some stuff, but I'm excited to play it. So hopefully that will be on this week. You should stream it. It will be play it. Yeah, I should. you should set up your Xbox yeah, you One X or your Steam Link or all the other things that you have. <laughs> then I won't have any paperweights on my desk. Then all my papers <laughs> will blow away. I think <laughs> I think you are the only one that I know that bought an Xbox One X who does not have it set up right away. I know. Like, you know, and I would bitch about it. I'd be like, do you know how much I could use that? But I don't have a 4K TV, so I'm like... It's still, like, it's still going to look better. It does. <sighs> like... Like it does. I hooked it up on the other TV that's not 4K. It still looks it looks a lot better and it runs better too. Yeah. Like you get more frames, usually stable, and uh, it has like super sampling. I don't know for the tech guys here. It basically makes it look better than 1080p while not being 4K. Right. Mm-hmm. So even if you don't have a 4K TV, it's still <laughs> gonna be better. Yeah, I'm just horrible. You guys know. I do things and I have these great ideas and then I just let them go. Wow. Well. We are somebody here to should, not somebody should use that thing before the, the before the dust mites eat all the wires inside <laughs> it. Before they come out with a discless Xbox One X. Damn dickless exactly. Xboxes. That's what you need. <laughs> so, hey, what? How about yeah. you bring it over here and I'll hook it up and let you know if it works and when you decide you want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll void my warranty. No. So you watched, <laughs> uh, you didn't play many games, but you watched no, a movie. No, I did watch. Yeah, I did do some watching. So, uh... Supernatural finally finished season five, so I enjoyed season five. I don't see where people say it's it goes downhill like midways because what they're on nine right now, ten. 
<clears throat> they're right now on they just finished shooting season 14 okay TV. so i'm still then maybe a quarter of the way in so to yeah. me it's still good thumbs up yeah. it's uh it's still good i still i rate so far it's keeping my rating up through all all five seasons and i'm two episodes in with mr dean <laughs> says keep life. watching it's gonna get shitty <laughs> Oh man, shut no, your no. mouth. Shy. <laughs> I think uh, it's season seven you will kind of feel down, but then after that it's gonna pick up again. See, but by then they've had it's you almost should expect a lull because you've had so much yeah, time right, with these characters that people are gonna from the people are gonna stay with them. The it's what they did. I mean X Files so. kinda did the same thing around season five. They had some shit that was just like I, I think uh, in, but in it's my opinion, going older, so you keep watching. I think in season five is the was the, especially the end ending of season five was one of the high points of the series actually. Yeah, no, like, I'm still realizing. enjoying it. Like I'm I'm keeping it up there through season five. I'm still keeping it at around eight, eight out of ten nugs through season five. I I expect things to go downhill, and that'll segue into the next thing that I watched, The Walking Dead. And I know we talked last week how excited I was, and this is spoiler free, so don't worry, I'm not going to ruin anything for anybody. Um, there was some stuff that happened in the second to last episode, and I was like, okay, there you go. You guys have brought me back. You're going in the right direction. And then we have the season finale. I'm like, what do you do to top your next, the episode you just had where you just brought me back, a, a person who will not let you die. I will I'll be the only viewer for him if I have to be. And they took a shit all over me. <laughs> and have they've just ruined it. Like I don't know how you mess it up. I don't know how you go. Wait, did you just say that it... the one person that you said in your mind in that show can't die and they shit all over it? No. Like, that person died. I'm talking about my hopes and dreams for the show to continue to be good. Like to continue to have a high rating. Cause I think I've always rated it about an eight. I know there was one season I rated a, a seven and after last night and what I witnessed for the season finale, good thing we don't have halves. And so I'm going to round up, but the season nine, I'm going to round it to a seven. And this is it. Just, almost got a six. Is it the full season finale or is it the halfway point? This is the nah, halfway point. Uh, this right? is the, no, it was the full. This was oh. the full season finale. Huh. So season nine is over with, and I'm I'm gonna put it at a seven. Did but you they just almost not got a like six. the one decision they made at the end of it, or you weren't no, complaining but, after all them who after whatever murderous right. rampage happened mm -hmm. the week before? This one, I feel like this episode, the last episode, was not a final. It wasn't a season finale episode. I heard a like lot of people weren't happy with that. No, it was ridiculous. Like, I, I and I know what they're doing. I feel like they're trying to make some redeeming qualities in people because you got you know we've talked about it's a big long time span since all some of the people have seen each other, and they're trying to make redeeming qualities probably to turn around and still, you know, get you get you get your goat, I guess, and probably first. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get his piss, goat. To, I'm going to piss get you off. Goat. I'll fix his wagon. <laughs> <laughs> to clean, you off, I'll I clean think, your like, clock, buddy. Yeah, I think, you're, I think to get their goat, I think you're just... I've always used it as you're, you're turning... You're, I don't know. I'm trying to think of how I would want to explain how it makes me feel about getting someone's goat. It's hyping you up and letting you down. Okay. And pissing you off about it. That's getting your goat. My next door neighbors have a pig. Do you want to go get it too? Maybe. Sure. I do have molestation of deer oh, no. turkey charges I... in Kentucky. Molestation of pork. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a fun story if you all ever want to hear it. Um, <laughs> Zach's like, um, yes, please. <laughs> right? You can't drop the bomb on that. Like, you can't throw that down. Oh, in Kentucky, I got charges on. I should see. I should have left that for the end and been like, to be continued. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can uh, still so do that. I'm going to rock it out. I'll just let you guys know. Uh, I went out hunting one time, and I did not follow the law to the T. And oh, I had a, action. a vest on. You know, you have to wear, like, blaze orange vest. And I read, and it said, 
you could also wear like a neon green type vest and it could have mesh holes in it. But I did not read that the mesh holes had actual measurements. So my holes were too big. So they could see me in my neon green, but the holes were like a quarter inch and they couldn't be any bigger than an eighth of an inch. So a game warden stopped me and at gunpoint. Hey, hey there, boy. Yeah. The holes is too big. <laughs> yeah, so at gunpoint, check me out. And the only thing you could find wrong besides trespassing, which I wasn't charged with, <laughs> was my holes were too big. So when I got the ticket for it, which was $500, a $500 fine, like a speeding ticket, I paid it off and. You know, we skipped two years later. I'm out to get this job in uh, asset protection, and I have my background history ran to where my soon-to-be boss says, I need to know something. (laughs) And I'm like, okay. And she goes, on your background check, it says that you were charged with molestation of a deer, elk, or turkey. (laughs) And I'm like, I... I have no clue. I the only thing I could think was I didn't wear enough. Like my holes were too big. Ma- ma- <laughs> <laughs> but were they were the turkeys? Yeah. So apparently Kentucky has never updated some of their laws. So when you <clears throat> do things wrong hunting, it's just considered molestation of whatever those animals were that you were hunting. That doesn't matter what you do. It's how they worded it in like the nineteen. 19- 40. I don't know. <laughs> Is that giant pug head mask behind you new sitting there? Because that just nope. freaked me right the hell out. <laughs> it's been there forever, man. Yeah. I used, I used to get drunk and put it on. <laughs> All right. Ugh. So, yeah. So, I, you know, I told my, at that time, my boss or the woman who was hiring me, she wasn't my boss yet. And she was like, okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure there was nothing else I needed to know because I called them and they said, you know, and the woman laughed and was like, although we take all of our laws very serious, no, this is not a serious crime. What he And she, I guess, had told him what I had done, which I think is a breach of my because privacy. Because the, deer, the like, deer was the deer was dead at the time he did it. If so. you're a criminal, you give up your privacy. Damn it. Damn it. So, so <laughs> I just want to ask, like, the guy, the warden approaching you at gunpoint, that's just because you had weapons on you, right? I would I'm assume. Assuming. Yeah, but it's nevertheless when you're, you know, so nineteen you years a old. Ruler? Oh, hell, I don't know. Let me I see your holes, boy. Dude, I was scared to death, man. He's like, turn around, away from me, and he's got a gun pointed at me. He's like, throw all your weapons on the ground, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? What have I done? So, but I listened to him, and I didn't get shot. So amazing. Don't um, resist, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, that was that story. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did not molest any animals. <laughs> no. So Peta, stay away from me. I know you'll be ha- not happy about shooting the animals, but you know, uh, that might not be true. I've read some things about Peta. So what else did I do? Oh, so that was The Walking Dead. Uh, Wes will be happy. Umbrella Academy. So uh, you know, I've been down on it. wasn't really interested in it. Got to the final two episodes and it they were good. They turned a page and some of the story started to come together a little better than I thought it would. I always assumed there was something going on. I don't want to be any spoilers in case anybody's watched it, but with some of the people and uh, one of the characters I can who play a big that. part in the... No, no, no. Yeah, one of the characters that play a big part in the ending, that was a fun timeline to watch come together finally. So I was excited. I ended up bumping up um, the score from what I was going to give it. I ended up giving it an 8. Nice. An 8 out of 10. Nice. Yeah, they, they filled out the episodes very well. And you guys may like it. This is not the part of Nugget getting molested. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-mm. I guarantee goddamn you, if I got molested, there would be no charges. Because <laughs> I'd drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Game Warden. You want me to take off these clothes? Oh, my. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Yeah, so um, 
movie wise uh fantastic beast the crimes of what's his name grindelwald 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 watched it it was really good i know i complained about on the first one i felt like there needed to be more magic fights and this one did not let me down so i think on fantastic beasts the first one i gave a seven i ended up giving this one an eight as well a lot of eights going around today nice besides the walking dead so that was a good movie uh the crimes of grindelwald Grindelwald. i just said Vald because it sounded more menacing in the vault the crimes of green German. yeah so it was a good movie you guys should check it out especially if you're harry potter fans because you get to meet some people that end up in the harry potter movies which Ooh. were cool um which thank god i knew some of them because it wouldn't have been as exciting when you got to meet them and i was just sort of like who's this guy oh that's cool <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I I feel like uh, I feel like it was a solid movie. I think they did good, and I'm still waiting to get the Harry Potter series. So maybe that'll be this week's mission is to watch them all. They Do were it. just on. Uh, they were on Sci-Fi this past weekend. Yeah, I saw them, and I was like, "Damn it, I don't." I bet I'm like cutting into the middle of it, and I won't be yeah, able to finish. Yeah, I all. wouldn't want to watch yeah. it that way. They uh they show them once a month on Freeform as well. Gotcha. My mom watches it. I like when I'm like, I bought her the Blu ray pack of all of them, and then she still only watches them when they air on Freeform. Because then she can do <laughs> things during the commercials. Oh, nice. I guess if you had things to do. <laughs> but, man, I couldn't do that. Oof. I can't tell you how many uh, times my wife or my mom has been sitting there watching, sitting on the couch watching a movie <laughs> on television <laughs> that we own on Blu ray, right? Or or DVD or whatever, and she's sitting there watching it on like NBC or something where there's fucking commercials, and you got to sit through all those damn commercials. And I'm like, I would just put the Blu-ray in. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm right there with you. Yep. I yeah. Fuck commercial. That's why I pretty much don't watch anything anymore on TV. Like that's why I don't watch football. As- but you watch Football. other things with commercials? Horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think it's one of the worst, though. You take a thing that used to be like two hours, and now they've turned it into like a six-hour marathon. Mm-hmm. Not really, or, but or pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I watched it. Mm. So I got a, it. Yeah, I watched it, the new one. I want to hear this. Uh, I want to hear all I about it. A, I got a few jump scares. Woo. Man, there was some points in that movie where they had my anxiety going. The creepy, like, shutter effect, I'm going to call it, where they just like, uh, 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 but they're moving forward the whole time, but it's like, stop, go, stop, go. That shit will fuck me up, and it messed me up. But there was a lot of, a uh, couple of jump scares. I don't really remember one. Oh, yeah, I don't remember him either. But, yeah, I, I was trying to think of the one that got me. Like there was one that got me good. It shook the whole couch when I did. Blah, blah, blah. But it was <laughs> it was like a perfect jump scare. Um, and then I know we want. I wanted to talk about. We talked a little bit about it before we got in to the podcast. Um, I feel like sometimes when Pennywise got you under his spell, his telepathy, I guess we'll say, I feel like he lost people a lot. Like, he continuously lost people. Like, I thought, I was like, oh, you're a goner. Because I feel like in the original It, when he had you, he had you. Like, anybody who got taken under his spell died. And I feel like this one, he lost him a lot. And me and Zach were talking about it. I was like, well, maybe it was, maybe it's where he just woke up from his 27-year slumber. And he's just trying to get back into things. But, I mean, he would have been just waking up out of his 27-year slumber in the original, too. Yeah. It also is just the first movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, true. Just because they survived doesn't mean they're a survivor. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. So there there were a few things I, I wish they would have, I don't know, changed a little bit. The uh, little Georgie sewer scene, I think, was too long. Um, also said wish, you didn't care for him dancing? Yeah, there was a, a point where he... 
is on a stage and he's dancing and I'm like, really? What I don't ha- understand what this has to do with anything other than he's Pennywise the dancing clown. So Fortnite. I guess he wanted to show off why he yeah, pretty much. I mean, I guess it was a Fortnite move, right? Or well, what I've seen. Yeah. Was it? I think so. Really? I think so. Huh. I was I, no I, I don't know. I was just it was just a little aggravating some of the things that they did. I loved I loved the fact that some of his uh telepathy stayed on people. Um mainly have has everybody seen it? Oh. I've seen it. I mean, do you guys want to hear this part? I don't care. I don't care. So there's uh, a female that runs with all the kids. She's in her bathroom, and he's calling to her from the sink. And she, the day before, it cut her hair, and her hair had fallen down the sink. Well, she puts a tape measure down there, and it just keeps going like 20, 30 feet. Pulls it back up, and there's bloody hair. And then blood just starts spraying all over the room. And it's trying to like suck her back into the sink. Almost reminded me of a uh, poltergeist. <laughs> mm. yeah. So... It's trying to suck her back in there. The room is covered. The room has now went from white to red because it's blood. Ceiling, walls, running off of her. Her dad comes in, what's going on? And she's like, you don't see it, like confused. And he's like, no. And then like the next day or maybe two days later, she had called all her friends over, all the little guys that are trying to find Georgie. And the blood's still there and they can see it. Yeah. But the dad couldn't. And there's a lot of that. There's a lot of the adults can't see this. So I'm trying to figure out, like, is the is the kid mind impressionable is why he can do this? Well, I think so. I think that's also why the mind control works on the kids more than it works on anybody else. Like, I think that's them being susceptible to his spell. Gotcha. So is what I it, took from it. Picking on the children. Yeah. Because, like, that, well, there was a scene where, like, they're beating up this kid, and the two adults just stare at him and just keep driving. And then he's in the back of their car. And I'm like, why wouldn't they have stopped? Like, especially, I don't want to give this part away, because especially just how they were beating him up. Uh, I don't know if you remember that scene or not, Zach, with the little chubby kid and the bully of the town. I don't, Okay. Unfortunately. I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine. So there, it's just... The way he's not just beating him up, he's doing something where you think somebody would be like, Holy shit, let's call the police or let's at least hit this kid with our car to save the other kid. Oh, and they damn. just keep driving. So, um, but yeah, it, it, it had a good points and then it had its slow points. That the dancing clown really took it down a notch for me. One little, one little thing, two little things really just blew it. Does the guy with this clown and shorty shorts and clown makeup on sitting next to him? Yeah, he's hot. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up giving it a seven. Yeah, it was I'd, still above I'd say that. I think it was a good movie. I had seven. Yeah. I'd agree with. Mm-hmm. It was. I, I watched mean, it in the theaters. I'm, and maybe that's what the, maybe that's what's do like turning me off of it was that it was being funny in the midst of. Like, you just have my adrenaline going, and then you have a clown start dancing. But I don't know, man. Like, I just, I pulled it up. I just linked it in the Twitch chat, and, like, immediately it creeped me out. Like, the hair on the back of my neck stood up right away. That's kind of creepy. Oh, I I just played it. So, yeah. No, and then we had a... That's just so we had a couple these kids. Of... Huh? <laughs> Why is he so mean to these kids? Because he feeds on the fear. Yeah. Maybe that's why he loses people. Maybe some of them weren't as scared once they started figuring it out, maybe. So they're like, hey, look at him doing the fucking Fortnite loser dance. Yeah. (laughs) Was that what it was? All he had to do was put an L on his forehead and it would have been. Oh, man. I assume that that dance existed before Fortnite, though. Well, you know what? And the Snoop Dogg dance did do, but the Fortnite dance. Okay. I mean, yeah. I, I so, never I saw mean, anybody really doing it before Fortnite. It was definitely above average, so definitely see it. You got, you got to see it. It's good. It's not bad. I don't want to say that those things I didn't like. Those were just personal things that turned me off on some of the things. The sewer part, 
the sewer grate because at one point the sewer grate's like three inches tall and then the next point it's like seven to nine inches tall to fit a whole kid's body down in it. So I think they should have just left it alone. Like either made it a ginormous grate or not CGI'd it to be bigger to fit the kid down in it. The boat barely made it down in there and all of a sudden a kid can go down in it. Stupid Did Pennywise do it? Maybe. I think he's more powerful than changes shit. May, oh, maybe, then maybe, maybe it's all for naught. <laughs> I'll have to watch it. I want to watch I just, it. But part of me I thinks uh, you're, you're taking the magic of Pennywise too literally and like not applying what his powers can do to the world. Hmm. That's a good thought. I mean, he's a fucking weird alien clown that can make people float in the air and shit. Like that shit was cool. How yeah. they were all just floating around. We well, all do. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty Surprisingly, wild. Surprisingly, they didn't play the Modest Mouse song. Hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't have been fitting, but I was waiting for it. So yeah, that's all I got. Oh, I do want to tell you guys, I need to fill out a workers' comp uh, form for our podcast. <laughs> uh, when I was white knuckling last week to show my approval for flying in Battlefield Five, uh-huh. I pulled a muscle in my neck. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't white knuckle and make like strenuous like it's hurting now doing that. Don't do don't that. Do that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stretch first before you uh, white knuckle. Dude, my neck is so messed up. It hurts. <laughs> it hurt. It hurts yeah. me every day doing this bullshit. Just sitting here, I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, you that sucks. <laughs> Gunter, <laughs> Gunter. I have, I have missed it. I gotta, we gotta get some of those. That game again. I gotta hear that again. Uh, I'm I'm down for it. I can't wait. Only when we're playing with randos, though. That's the only time Gunther will come out. Oh yeah, old fucks. Fuck you, shy. <laughs> <laughs> got a stretch. <laughs> that's all I got, guys. That's all I did. That's, tell them uh, what movie we're all gonna. Go- well, not all, but oh, tell them yeah, what movie we're, we're gonna go see. I did watch. Oh yeah, good call, Wes. So I got an early text message this morning, and I started waking people up at about nine o'clock to answer me. I was like, God damn it answer you fools so i got about seven tickets to see the early showing of avengers endgame Ooh, so we'll be seeing that on the 25th at 5 p.m and it's a three hour and two minute long movie and i'm excited those two minutes though yeah i think some shit that'll be the 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 next one end credit scene yeah yeah so i'm i'm excited i can't wait uh and I'm hoping that I read the tickets right because it's <laughs> expensive. Uh, I think it. I think each ticket comes with a small popcorn and a small drink. And a it and better. A, and the yeah, it and, does. A, and some yeah, some souvenir coins. Yeah. Uh, two souvenir coins, sort of like what I got at uh, Captain Marvel. I think I showed you guys when I talked about that. But it's like this, but it has an Avengers logo, and you get one okay. color one and one plain one. But it's twenty two dollars a ticket. So I just spent $107 to go to the movies. <laughs> You're generous. If you go well, see I mean, IMAX movies or pretty whatever. sure we'll be paying him back. But <laughs> Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> I will hold that ticket hostage. <laughs> no, but... Money, uh, please. It's just, it was, I think, $22 a ticket. It was but like once you factor in, Yeah, once you factor in $10 for popcorn, a popcorn and, and a, a small drink. drink, yeah, that's the same price. So I'm, I'm okay with it. Commemorative coin, yes. limited, limited pressing. Maybe I won't put dice in this. Maybe I'll put my little commemorative coins in no. there. No, well, don't unpackage them, man. Oh, yeah. Keep I that won't. shit in the plastic. Get your grimy finger oils all over that. And be <laughs> oh, they are. Well, you see them right there. They're still <laughs> Saying I should have left my, uh, my the Elder Scrolls Oblivion commemorative coin in its package. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got no. this one from a loot crate. Loot gaming. A little Ooh. rocket ship. Says space. <laughs> <laughs> all right then yeah uh, i don't know <laughs> it's still in the package though <laughs> along with your xbox and your playstation yeah, hey, pro right. <laughs> and your steam right. link yeah shut your mouth and half that shit on the shelf behind you 
<laughs> oh man, no, I took a lot of that stuff. Actually, all that stuff behind me is displayed. I was just kidding. Yeah. Pascal hates us. Yeah. A hundred percent. Um, that's all I got. No, so I don't want to keep dragging me. it out. <laughs> so we'll uh move on to Westman. Me. All right. I didn't. Uh, I didn't play a lot. Um, I got gifted a game, so I got MLB nineteen, the show, or whatever MLB the show nineteen. Um, Was it your birthday? No. What? Why? Why did you get gifted a game? Because generosity. Generosity. Oh. <laughs> Um, so I played that. Wow, dang, that's right. Oh, I got something for you tonight, Cheyenne. Um, and let's see. I don't know what, oh, I finished, I finished Hellblade. Uh, that game was amazing. Um, played some NBA, played some, that's really about it. I played MLB and NBA. That's all I've played. So, so with Hellblade, if it had a nug scale, what would you give it? Fucking nine. The story got a little funky at the end. It I, did, that's the only but thing it that... didn't. If you if you watch the the commentary thing that, that plays after after the credits or whatever, it made yeah. sense. Um, it's disappointing in a way though because you realize that all this shit she's. I mean, I don't want to. Don't yeah right. Yeah. I, I have a question because I didn't actually get to sit down and watch you stream it, but the part where you're going through the dark areas and the monsters chasing you. The ones that are all slimy looking and you don't really know what the hell no, shape they no, are? No, not that one. The one where you have to go from light patch to light patch oh, through like, the dungeon-y place. Dude, that thing had the me beast freaking out. The beast <laughs> chasing you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that was that oh, was there's fucking. The there's the beast. Yeah. <laughs> SPN 2K5 and Apex are the only games I've played. Mm. I I feel like I've played something else, but I can't remember what it was. And honestly, yeah. Anyway, uh, focusing on MLB. Um, game is great so far. It's it's put together very well. It's. It's a top notch, one of those AAA titles, and you can tell it it it, it bleeds, it drips AAA out of its pores. So, um, it, it's really well put together. It's a good complete package for somebody that even isn't really a baseball fan. Um, I find it interesting. I like playing baseball in video games, but I can't stand baseball. Um, it's not even that I can't stand it, but I can't be bothered to watch it. Uh, when baseball season starts, I'm like, oh, I used to. I play. I played too much of it when I was a kid, and then I. I know why you don't like it. But. I was yeah, too impressionable, <laughs> and they went on strike at a young age, and I thought that was. I play it for fun, and you all are pissed off because you're not making millions enough. Well, and, and you got to learn how to take a hit, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> take one for the team. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't why I stopped watching. <laughs> I could still watch it at that. We had a crazy coach that hit us with the baseball. He said we need to learn how to take take a walk. So he would line us up in the batter box and just beam us with the baseball. That sounds like a fucked up dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my friend, if you're listening, because you know who your dad is. I hope you. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I played that and I, I've got a couple things working, working with that. I'm going to be streaming um, two different pitching careers. We made uh, Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn last night from Major League. <laughs> and tonight, oh, it's going to be on because we are making motherfucking La Flama Blanca, Kenny Powers, video <laughs> clips and all, baby. So you're fucking out. I'm you're fucking in. fucking out. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's going to be amazing. So, How about those menus in the game? They were that's, intimidating to that's me. That's my down. That would be my downside because it seems like what it is more than anything is multiple places you can access the same area of the game from different places. So, like on the first page, there's the big play now, and then there's like all these, doo -doo 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 -doo, and apparently those are the same. They, they end up taking you to the same place that you can get from other places in the menu. It's kind of kind of redundant, like a motherfucker, but uh, yeah whatever i try that's one thing i it's not even just the menus there's just a lot of information packed into like the tutorials that, to the point where i'm just like oh my god okay i just i just don't want to keep clicking okay 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 every you, time i read 
five or six I watched orders. that a little bit last night. It was just like those little blue menus would mm-hmm. pop up, the boxes tell you what to do. And, and eventually I'll get to the point where I don't have that anymore, but it, it's really kind of fucking annoying. But there's a lot of information to take in and a lot of different uh, things happening. So he's back. Um, so hey, beautiful. other than that, that's, that's all the games I played. Um, I watched some movies. Hit me with them. Well, I watched Primer, which Hit we're all going to talk baby, about. Hit one more time. Uh, I watched Slender Man with my son, because he's always been fascinated by the Slender Man myth. Concept? How yeah. was it? Uh, this was the movie from 2018, and it sucked a big turd. They have, like, a fan-made movie on YouTube, like, something with Hornet something. It's pretty good, actually. Well, this is called Slender Man. I don't know about the Hornet, but... <laughs> something with hornet i don't know what it was this was the horny hornet slender man and it was made <laughs> last year and um I, like i don't even want to waste time talking about it it was i just want to smack everybody that was in it and whoever made it say your movie sucks it gets a three and that's generous it's it gets a three. That's got to be that's my lowest ranking so far. You're I think. almost down there with the rock. Uh, you it's it it's still. rock quality. You know what? You can almost smell what the rock is cooking. Hey, mm-hmm. They can smell what the rock is cooking because heat rises. It's bad, dude. It's bad. I would never. I would not waste my time with that movie. Um, nice. Then last night, well, actually, I watched that last night too. Um, after I watched that, I decided, well, I need to watch another Marvel <clears> movie, <throat> but I need to go a little bit out of the order that I've been going because I found a better chronological way to watch them rather than just the release order. So, Did you find one in English instead of the one that uh, Nick yes. Lynch, that was in French. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I decided uh, I needed to watch Black Panther. Because I was kind of behind on that. And everybody went crazy when that movie came out. Everybody was talking about how good it was and blah, 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 blah. And I wasn't feeling the hype. I'd never heard of Black Panther before the hype for the movie. So I was kind of like, whatever. Black Panther, never heard of it. What is this shit? Dude, I watched that movie. I'm a big James Bond fan anyway. That movie was, and I actually verified that the director said that part of the inspiration for the the way he filmed the movie was to make it like a James Bond movie. Okay. That movie was very much like a black James Bond movie. Uh, it was also very much like a Marvel movie. It was almost like it had two halves. Okay, it was a little long, but not not. I'm not saying that in a in a like a detrimental way. It was just longer than some of the more recent um marvel movies that i had seen but two big fat ass thumbs up that movie's a solid eight really really good way better than i thought it was gonna be um the acting in it was awesome the cast in it was amazing um if i'm normally let down by marvel movies should i watch black panther yep okay I, i i got that feeling i just wanted to get it in words yep I, I, it's different than most of them, it even, even as an origin story, if that's what you would want to call it, which you, it's not really, um, but it's, you're not going to find the humor, the hum the, the humor is not really there in this one. Good. Looking at me like I'm crazy, but it's not. TJ disagrees. Tell me, tell me it, where the humor his was. sister. Everything she his sister did. She was kind of, she was kind of cutesy, but. I mean, nowhere near on the level of some no, of these other. No, nowhere near. I'll, I'll give you that, but there was humor. But and it was it there was, was some, it was done well. It was dark. Like when it opened up, it was in 1993. Like when it when it first came out of the credits scenes or whatever, and the movie starts. It's 1993 in Oakland, California. Now me remember in 1993. You guys probably don't. But me remember in 1993, I know what I was listening to back then. And the motherfucker from Oakland, California that I used to listen to was too short. And what was the very first notes in the in the damn song that played it was dun 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 dun. dun. It was freaking from Too Short's uh, In the Trunk album. I used to listen to that shit all the time in school. And it was like 1993, Oakland, California. And I'm like, damn, they did their homework. <laughs> and I, it was just, and it had me hooked right from the very beginning. It was gritty. It was sad. 
And then it went to present day, and uh, Michael B. Jordan from uh, freaking Creed is in it. Damn, that dude's bigger than I thought. He's huge. Mm-hmm. He is he's big. ripped. He's a, yeah. And he's a, he was a good villain. I thought you meant the band. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want you the fucking you oh, talking <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Sorry, I threw you off there. <laughs> What's that song? We just Can heard the news today. Hi, yeah, to a place where something. I can see. Anyway, you got that right, right, Pesco? Oh, we're free. He's disappeared for a while. How? Oh. With arms wide open, under yeah. Anyway, so yeah, fucking yeah, different Creed, buddy. Um, the the actor that played Apollo Creed's son in Creed mm-hmm. one and two, um, he was in it. Uh, Michonne from The Walking Dead was in it. it. Was pretty cool. Um, the guy that played the Hobbit was in it. Yeah, Martin Freeman. Guy that played okay. Gollum was in it. Andy Serkis. He's got gotten... when you said the Hobbit, I didn't. I it's lots of Hobbits, man. Oh, the 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 Hobbit in the, the movie, Hobbit's the Hobbit. Martin Freeman from from the newest series. Um, it's just a really good cast, really good movie. I <laughs> dug it. Uh, Freaking <laughs> Forrest Whitaker was in it. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You give him the four. I was, I was giving you that eye a while ago when you said there was no comedy. <laughs> well, I, st- I stand by it. I mean, not no comedy, but it's not like a normal Marvel movie. Every movie's got some sort of comedy in it. Um, but yeah, no. Nah, to me, that was one of the one of the better right one of the better movie. Marvel movies for sure. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Two big thumbs up, eight nugs out of ten, and that's all I got. Except for Primer, right. which we'll get to. So, Zach, it's on you. It's my turn. Zach attack. I feel like I had a lot of free time this last week, but I don't think I used it for anything. Is that I played some more secure a little bit. Oh. Uh I had I had my first boss fight that I didn't really care for very much just because it seemed cheap. You had to fight this uh blazing bull and the way you beat the blazing bull was just to run around. Bowl or ball? Bull, bull, like a bull. Oh yeah, I watched. Bull, you get the horns. I watched that. That was ridiculous. Right, where you just chase it around. Like there wasn't anything. There wasn't a real tactic or anything to it. Sign language for bullshit. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Um, yeah. So that was kind of lame, but everything else was cool. There were a bunch of found new enemies. I think I finally got to the point where the game opens up a little bit more, and I can see there's multiple different paths to take. And I picked, I think, the hardest path. There were lots of samurai dudes that were kicking my ass. Um, played a bunch more Apex because I can't get enough of that game. Ew. I really can't. I just I, I love Battlefield? how fast paced in huh? Not not Battlefield. I mean, how do you guys? I guess if you still can't get enough Apex, where does where does Battlefield now rank in that battle royale? <laughs> I. Don't think I want to revisit the Battle Royale that much, but I am interested in sitting down and playing some core Battlefield game. Uh, I hopped in and messed around a little bit. I played like an hour or so, two or three matches of Conquest the other afternoon and actually had a blast. Like, I had a good time. The people in my squad were hot garbage. I think every game I had half of the squad's kills and the four people just following somebody around. But... I enjoyed it, and the shooting mechanics actually started to come to me a little bit more, and it felt pretty good, some of those light machine guns. And the game is just fucking gorgeous. Like, even without the ray tracing on or anything like that, like, good God, does that game look good. It's all of it cinematic. Yeah. Every part of that game feels like I'm living World War II, which is cool. I really like that. But High praise. It lacks the franticness and the competitiveness that I get out of Apex. 
Like Apex just carries a certain level of like an adrenaline spike for me when you get into the shit with three or four squads fighting each other and I just don't get that out of the Firestorm and I didn't I don't get it out of just the battlefield gameplay just because there's too much going on in Conquest. But um what else did I do? I played uh I played some Rimworld the last two nights. Uh for are you guys familiar at all with Rimworld? Only a little. Um Rimworld is a colony simulator. So in the basic game type, you you generate a world kind of like Minecraft, you put in a name, it seeds a world, you pick your landing location on this map. And you have three survivors that you pick from a group of like eight. And you crash land out of cryo sleep on this planet with some supplies that are scattered around, and you build a self sustaining colony. Mass Effect that. Andromeda! <laughs> Is that what that I never played? <laughs> but it's a top down, super minimalistic graphics. Um, you have, it's incredibly in depth and strategic. So you can build, you build buildings out of walls, and then they get roofed. And then you can research technology to get to the point where you can make like fucking lasers, but you start off not. So you research solar panels so you can have electricity, and then you get batteries so you can store that electricity for overnight. And you build areas to farm, and you build prisons for people that you capture, and you build. Like your people eventually have kids or they get in, they fall in love, they murder each other, people go crazy. It's the game calls itself a story building game because these random events happen as you play and you can recover from cat catastrophes, but just crazy shit happens. So, like last night while I'm playing, uh, and I like to name all my people, people that I know. So, I'm playing and I've got McKenna and Cody and my buddy Aaron and then we have a dog and the dog's just wandering around and one day this fucking grizzly bear shows up and it's just kind of skirting around the outside <laughs> of the compound like not really doing anything I don't feel like anybody in my group's well enough equipped to deal with a fucking grizzly bear so I'm just gonna let it do its thing and maybe it'll run away and then one day sun comes up dog walks out of the house just roaming around and then like I watch this grizzly bear it's just walking and then all of a sudden just fucking 90 degrees and just beelines for the dog and i'm like oh shit the dog so i send everybody <laughs> over there to help save the dog <laughs> and the dog gets fucked up the grizzly bear turns on somebody else because he shot him so the grizzly bear is like oh shit get that guy with the rifle and runs over there and swats him and i kill the grizzly bear or whatever and then i find out the dog lost both its eyes both its eyes got torn out by this grizzly bear and then uh cody lost an eye so between the two of them there's only one good eye left but it works out should hit that damn dog or should hit that damn bear with pascal's dog's fourth leg (laughs) right (laughs) 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 but uh it works out because cody's character is a transhumanist which means he doesn't like human body parts and wants to be made into a cyborg so you can research him on his way and replace limbs and organs and shit with bionics which is pretty dope nice i like that oh yeah i just watched the trailer for it and they showed a tornado going through and ripping apart the town that they just built yeah it's it looks real cool i'm excited and then i also made one with the four of us um and the very first night apparently you guys just decided to make pascal sleep outside (laughs) (laughs) sounds about right Damn. I, forget, I think TJ, I think you're, or no, Wes, you're the builder, and you built two beds, and you and TJ took those two beds, and there wasn't a bed for Pascal, so the son bitch just goes outside and just sleeps on the ground. <laughs> Not even in the floor of the house. Not even in the floor of the house, outside. I'm sorry, man. Damn, the game knows us too well. Right? I would never. I took a, I took a screenshot of it. It cracked me up. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll let Pascal take up my whole couch one night. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was slept, a luxury, he slept man. catty corner all the way across that damn thing. Make sure to leave room for the dog, Pascal. Um, <laughs> but I think that's it. Let me look at my Steam library right here. Uh, I downloaded uh, Mutant Year Zero, and I plan on playing that a little bit because it looks real interesting. Um, yeah. That's it. I didn't watch any. I, well, I caught up on some Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is still a hilarious show. And if you guys are looking for another half hour 
it's on my comedy list. show to watch. It's worth it. Yeah, I had no idea that was a comedy until you talked about it more. It's so funny too. I mean, it's got Dennis Leary in it, right? No. I only know the Andy Samberg. I was thinking of a different show then. Oh. I don't know what show you're thinking. He was in another firefighting movie. movie. Lie to Me was... Brooklyn Nine-Nine's Police. Lie to Me was Firefighters, wasn't it? No, not... Was it Lie to Me? Lie to Me was uh, the one with... with, uh, Roth. What's his name? I don't remember his name, but he... He was a... Interview... And... He he was good at reading people. He could tell people... He could tell when people lied. I'm looking at this Dennis Lee. Something Roth. Uh, it's, rescue me. Uh, rescue me. Okay. Rescue me. You got me the me Dennis right. Leary. Yeah. Um, I know which one lied to me is. I actually like that show. That's good. Um, but yeah. So Brooklyn Nine Nine. Watch Primer. I don't think I watched any other movies. I don't I think feel I like you had a movie games. night. Did you have a movie night? You went and seen a movie, or was that last week? That was last, last week. week. I watched Us. Yeah, us. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, I was pretty boring this week, guys. I'm sorry. We it's all okay. Been... Well, that yeah. right. We have off weeks. Seems to definitely bring us right around to a good time to discuss the movie that we all watched, which was a little movie from what 2004 that Angry Bearded Robot suggested in the chat. Is that right? Yeah, it is right. Yeah. Well, I don't called, know what year it was. Called, but... I'm pretty sure it was 2004. Called, I got two yeah. different ones. So. Primer. Um, it's an hour and 17 minutes long. To start off with, I have a hard time with movies whose titles seem to come from nowhere. Nah, it wasn't nowhere. I don't care what it's called. It, it makes sense. The, the they movie had to, makes they had sense. to prime up prime the numbers. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. it's, a, well, it's prime. Prime, the prime number. Hmm. The the you know the what what is a prime number? It's the uneven. The you oh, know not the, all uneven one, numbers three, three, are prime numbers. But that was a prime number. The, the, I think wasn't it like? I thought it's because uh, the machines had to prime up. Like you primed no, them up, and then they just kept running on their own eventually. I, no, I I uh, read in the or somebody on YouTube like some. We could just fucking stuff. argue about it. Yeah, no, I'm just talking about the n- name. Fuck the movie. Know. The name. This come from my head, not some dude on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you're wrong. Um, <laughs> man, I will say, and I want to keep what I have to say about it pretty short because I'm really interested in what you guys have to say. Um, I watched it. As soon as I got done watching it, I really wanted to watch it again, but I didn't. Um, Mm -hmm. And the reason I wanted to watch it again was because I felt like in that short amount of time, that movie was really, really well thought out and put together pretty well until I think the end. Um, To me, the, the biggest thing that you can say about that movie was it's coherent. It's so well thought out that I find it to be the biggest mindfuck movie I've ever seen. Beating it, putting Inception to shame. Inception um, you can follow. Yeah, yeah. But it was still kind of a mindfuck. Like, yeah. This one just it, it blew my mind. At the same time, near the end, um, I, part of me thinks they didn't do a very a, a good enough job of explaining some things. And the other part of me thinks that they did it that way on purpose so that you'd go back and figure it out through multiple it seems viewings. It's like a movie you need to sit down with a pen and paper mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. keep track of. It's like it's a thinking movie. And yeah. you bet and but see the thing is the thing the thing that really got me about the movie is while I'm thinking about it and while I'm running theories through my head like well wait a minute if this is happening right now say we're talking you know time travel person 1 is doing this right now well don't they have another time travel person that could be doing something else what the fuck are they doing how do we know that they're actually going to continue doing what they normally did blah 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 and it was only until near the end that i found out that okay these things were actually happening they just weren't cluing us in on it we were seeing the results of it and we just weren't being told so um I, I'd like to. I'd, I'd still like to watch it again. I feel like I understand yes. it about eighty percent, and I would like to understand it more. And I don't think that I don't understand it fully because it was a bad movie. Um, I think it's just a little bit smarter than me at this point. 
<laughs> I keep grasping at threads. Like I get a thought that forms in my mind and I'm like, okay, I can hold on to that and I can figure something out. And then it just dissolves into the wind. The whole shotgun and the guy, the comatose guy in the bedroom. I can't remember that his name. I don't Gr understand Granger? that shit. Granger. Yeah. I, I don't, don't understand I don't that don't shit at all. Up. So I think they think Granger found a machine is what I picked up and used it, but used it wrong and came back fucked up. Well, he came back. I guess that's why he wouldn't have had a beard or he did have. Right. He wouldn't have had a beard. But why are they? They're chasing him and then they come around the corner and now he's just laying there. Whatever. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't make any sense, but I, this might be a movie I look for. You know what? I might go to disc replay tomorrow. Our local resale store and see if I can't pick it up for like three bucks. I can just email it to you or something. Oh, I mean, there's that yeah. too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it those two storylines: the shotgun at the party and yeah. Granger, just seemed thrown in there on a, like on the surface level without being able to dive deeper and try to figure out what's going on. It just seemed like they added it to try to give like maybe a moral dilemma or something more in depth to the story other than just messing with time travel. The Granger part, especially I, I, I think I feel that way. The party thing. I, I kind of followed that more, but I thought it was kind of weird. Just the way that they introduced it. Like the guys I, that you haven't seen the entire, you know, second half of the movie or second, you know, act of the movie are suddenly back working again and oh we, you didn't hear what happened oh what happened and then they talk about some guy coming into a birthday party with a shotgun and you're like what the fuck are they talking about i think if they were a little bit clear with the side characters that wouldn't have been so hard to follow because they spent so much time talking about rachel and you saw rachel once and she's related to Granger, I, thought, I think. Yeah, it's it's, her, it's his dad, it's her his daughter. daughter. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. daughter. And then, but I thought she was with Abe. And then, blonde guy has a thing for Rachel, or is she he with Rachel? I thought he was with her. They said that's why she was there. I thought that was. I thought that's what he was. I don't know. I don't know, but she was pretty fucking hot too. I don't know who that is, yeah. but I'll agree with that. But yeah, so there was that whole thing. It just it was. I had a hard time following the characters. I even have a hard time with Abe and Aaron, keeping Aaron. them separate a little bit. Well, I'm going to shut up and listen now because I think I've done my share of talking. <laughs> I'll hear what I you give, guys have to say the rest about it. I give it a 7 out of 10. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 well, I my confusing parts were what you all have just talked about. I yeah. mean, I, I was really surprised at how quick I picked up that they had fixed that they had did some kind of time hopping I guess because it's not really I don't feel like it's time traveling because oh, they can't but, it is. but they mean, can't pick totally up time traveling you can only go back as far as the machine was running yeah right those are the limitations right so I don't feel like that's true time travel it's just like a Motherfucker. I think I think they went after a real like concept of uh, yeah. gravity and heat, like a real scientific thing. But I don't think anybody established it to pull it off. But I think they went actually after a real possible scientific formula to do that. I said I was going to shut up, but I'm not. Pascal was talking to me earlier about the movie, and he said he kept thinking about the grandfather paradox. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Well, I looked it up, okay? And so it's very similar to this movie in that if you have a point in time and say your grandfather's born, or say you're born, whatever. No, your grandfather. Your grandfather's here, and then he has his kids who eventually have you, and you grow up here, and then you decide at some point you want to kill, you want to go back in time and kill your grandfather. You go back in time to a point where well and kill your grandfather before you were born right so you kill your grandfather before you were born which means that you were never born therefore we're never able to go back in time and kill your grandfather Looper. and it creates instead of a loop in time 
a twist in timelines, a divergent timeline where time is twisting in and out of itself or around different timelines. But then would you really be able to see yourself? That's a good question. Because if you just went and did that... Did I explain that decently, Pascal? Yeah, that's why I think it's a paradox because if that would be all possible, then you wouldn't even have that thought of, you know killing your grandfather or whatever because you wouldn't he never be would there. have existed get, in the first place yeah, yeah that i mean the looper dealt with the same thing basically because when bruce willis's character got sent back to get killed by oh shit i didn't know you hadn't Go seen ahead. looper uh when bruce willis's character gets sent back for joseph gordon levitt to kill him and then he doesn't that changes it all you know what i mean right it's it's the same but in just reverse but i don't know to me like to me i just feel like time travel would be able to go any point in time that i want to i feel like this is something else it's just a different kind of limited like right this one's just limited like that like i don't know like it's more of a it's not a bill and ted time travel it's no a scientifically grounded time. Not travel. a Doctor Who. Yeah. Did, yeah, uh, definitely not. Did because you like guys... to... go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say to me, like the way I think about it, if we ever made holy What up swing swing games with the rage seventeen oh motherfuckers. <laughs> so to me it's continue. Like I well, yeah, I lost my thought when I saw the raid. Um I feel like where was I going with that? If time travel would be possible, maybe. Yes, if time travel was possible, you would already know. Yeah. Because wouldn't have somebody have come back to teach us how to do time travel? I don't know. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> to well, me. But the, so then, so then, that brings into the question. So if time travel does exist. And someone's figured it out. You have two options of either it's outlawed or it's regulated. And if it's regulated, you could assume why wouldn't there be in a Call of Duty esque way police forces that go back and stop bad time travelers from doing things? And because you couldn't have some irresponsible party going back in time. And possibly causing paradoxes because who knows what would happen then? There would be some fundamental physics; it could unravel the entire universe, kind of sort of thing. Because no one, you wouldn't know until something happens with it. So yeah. I think it would, if it does exist and it can be done, it's probably regulated to a point or banned, like it was in Looper, or I, only used by special people, like it is in Twelve Monkeys, or that kind of stuff. I I read something about time travel that was really interesting. I don't know if it was uh, Einstein or somebody, and he said, if time travel would be possible, it will be only during, uh, it will be a one-way ticket. Like, you would go in the past, for example, but you could never go back because the, I don't know, it's just like it's always going to be one-way street. The one thing he said there where you would be able to go to would be either the future or the past, but he said, like, the past is written and there's so many paradoxes in the physics and science behind everything that time travel in the past would not be possible. Yeah. That's what he said. Now, I mean, I don't know. He was Einstein. He was pretty smart. But, you know, hey, some scientists were, you know, wrong before. And there's also some things he said that wasn't right. So I don't know. But I feel like when you go after the science and the physics that we know, I don't think we would ever go back in time with time travel. I don't think yeah. forward, maybe forward, maybe who knows, but in the past, I don't think so. At, at least not interact with it. At least not interact with it. Like, maybe that you go and you see everything live kind of, but not really, you know? So I don't know. I don't think it is as possible as the movies make it. Oh, well, no, I don't think so either. Right. Hey, but it'll always be theoretical, but this movie, I think, I think they did a good job with oh, it yeah. overall. You said- what seven thousand dollar budget? Is that what you said? Seven thousand dollars, yeah. Yeah, they did a really good job with that. I mean, it helps yeah. when you get a bunch of no name actors and you don't waste money on extras because there weren't really any extras. Which 
is generally something I personally have a problem with, but they did a good job framing the shots and just making everything very secretive that they yeah. didn't need the extras. So that it worked out for me, unlike with Anon, where they were out in open streets with no one around and giant wide open places. But so uh, for me personally, I'd probably give that movie a six, Ooh. maybe a seven on this for on the first watch. Like, I think I'll go with a six. I think if I sit down and watch it again and unpack it a little bit more, I think that score could go up. But just on a face value, sit down and watch this movie, get it over with I, a six. Yeah, but I give it a seven. I'm intrigued. Yeah. And I would like to watch it again because I feel like there's a lot hidden in there and a lot of the timey wimey stuff can get looked into. I just already say mine. Questions. No. Yeah, I'm going seven. Um, I think it could be better, but you have to like you have to you have to cater to some kind of audience. And I, I don't have degrees in like theoretical physics and shit, quantum physics and quantum supposition and all that stuff. So apparently I don't get the movie a hundred percent. I think it's a great movie for what they're trying to, for what they're trying to do. Uh, I feel like they need to find a way to get their point across a little bit better. That being said, I still think it's a good movie and I want to watch it again so that I do understand it better. Yeah. So. Yeah. Never put your fell safe time machine inside your time machine. Uh, if you take anything away from <laughs> having a time machine, that's one thing. Well, he just made it. No, he put his time machine it. inside the fail safe time machine so he could take mm. his time machine back further than the fail safe. Yeah. Gotcha. That's made his, which basically made his the fail safe. I'll say in terms of it, it was the lowest on the list of time travel movies that I've watched. Really? Serious time travel movies that I watch. Yeah. I think that Donnie Darko looper and 12 monkeys are all better time travel movies than primer but they all had higher budgets, budgets and yeah. all that kind of stuff donnie and darko is my... probably my favorite yeah and i think that's why my score sits up at a seven it's just because of knowing what they were working with and still put out a little idea like they did yeah and the mind fuck i mean they literally just blew my mind where i you know i was just like whoa yeah. So I, because I, I think I was averaging, as I went through the movie, a five or a six. Like yeah. I didn't know what I was going to give it, and then once I started figuring some stuff out, but still being confused on the other stuff, and then looking at what they had to work with, I had to give it a little higher score. Yeah, I can respect that. But yeah. So where do we all sit then? Seven, six, seven, three sevens and a six. Awesome. All right. Takes well, it down to a 6.75. Since we're doing that, uh, since we're talking about the movie still, uh, do we want to go ahead and roll for the next week? Let's Heck go ahead yeah, and roll. roll. And while we get the dice out, I just want to let you guys know I started Hannah. I forgot to tell you that. Oh, Amazon I love, series. I love that. Wait, the series or the movie? The series. Prime, oh, I haven't seen the series. Prime original <laughs> series. Well, the movie I absolutely love. It's why I'm watching the Prime series yeah. movie. Or the Prime series. Show. Whatever. Show. Yeah. And what do you guys what should we roll good. with? The 20? Everybody sure. gets a 5? All right. Sure. Pascal, you're 1 five. through 5. TJ, you're 6 to... Is it 6 to 10? Yeah. Uh, Wes, you're 11 to 15, and I'm 16 to 20. Remember your numbers. I don't even know what you just said because I read chat. <laughs> uh, it's Pascal for, first. With the oh, 4. Me? Oh, yep, sweet. Pascal, Pascal again. Four. Um, a movie that... I didn't really finish, but it got a lot of praise for the story writing and how weird it actually is. Um, Did he just again, win? Yeah. Uh, sorry. I a it. huge load of... Yeah. Just subscribe. I'm sorry. That's Thanks. why I'm like, I lost my train of thought. I'm like, oh, a huge load. Uh, okay. Um, it Follows. Horror movie. Oh, the it's... one with the... Okay. I bet I wanted to watch that. It follows. It's a horror movie. Got a lot of praise. Um, I never really finished it. I think I watched a little bit. It had some scary movie uh, moments in it. It was a very interesting uh, theme of the movie, and you'll see it. I already read into it a little bit about why the director decided to do it. But yeah, it follows. Um, should be from 2017, if I'm not mistaken, 2016, something like that. Was on Netflix. I think it still is on Netflix. So. 
anybody with Netflix should be able to watch it. It follows. It follows. Everybody All remember right. your assignment. You guys have been bad students. You've been naughty. Hey, now, we do have a little bit of uh, the game main news, I guess, if we were moving on from that then. Did I, miss, mm-hmm. yeah. did I forget something? I'm going to call mine a little bit of everything news, but some gaming news, yeah. Okay. Uh, Borderlands Remastered Edition came out this week. For everybody who Already needs to get hit. some of that before Borderlands 3 comes out. Uh, when is that released? Oh, they haven't said yet. Right? September, probably. I think it leaked like somewhere around September. Okay. I feel like I linked some gaming news earlier. Oh, it wasn't gaming news. It was movie news with Ryan Johnson. Oh, was that, was that not fake? Tell was me that was fake? April Fool's. I thought it was April Fool's. I called it. I thought it was. I didn't. I didn't look at anything from that day because I just figured it was bullshit. I so didn't. I didn't even I apologize. I forget days exist that are special like that. So I didn't look. You guys talk about whatever you have to talk about. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm looking it up too. If you guys didn't know, Elder Scrolls Online, elsewhere, you can play free right now. From three twenty eight to four three, so you still got a couple one day <laughs> if you want to play. Unfortunately, that fell on a bad day for us to remind everybody, and I missed out on the sale. I know I talked to Zach about it. On if you pre ordered elsewhere, you got, uh, I think summer was it called Somerset? Summer? You got two of the DLCs before elsewhere for free. So that was sad. That was sad news. That flashing behind Nugget is driving me nuts. What flash? Uh, it's oh, on right there. Yeah, from your fan, I think. <laughs> so, while we're on the subject, <laughs> um, just for you, Cookie. No, I'm sp- uh, let's see what else. I wrote some stuff down. Uh, uh gaming news. Well, uh, everybody knows I'm sad. <laughs> uh, UK lost. It's like gaming news. news. <laughs> I know. This, this, is all, this is all random news. I told you it was going to be included. Random with the gaming. So they lost. April Fool's. And, but with that loss, they offered John Calipari a lifetime contract with UK. And he accepted. Money, money, money. Bing. Says he will finish uh, out his career until he retires, and then he will take on a paid role as an ambassador for the university. Hmm. Yeah. So that was pretty. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yes, it makes Gunter. me happy. Gunter is here. Yeah. <laughs> Something I saw with uh, Microsoft is now letting you stream PC games to an Xbox One, and you can use your controller to play them. And apparently you've always been able to do the reverse. Ever yeah, since like, they came out with yeah. the Xbox app on Windows 10, you've been able to do that. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know Damn. why Why has it become such a big thing all of a sudden, like showing up everywhere? Um, just trying to probably get their keyboard and mouse situation out uh, there. Oh, Razer actually yeah. just announced or released their first keyboard and mouse made for the Xbox, the turret. That's that probably out? why then. Uh, I don't know if it's out. I didn't. No, it's really coming. Cool. I think it's coming soon. Yeah, but they I don't know. It's on just, the Xbox Store. I know the PC to Xbox thing. Just a lot of people have Xboxes, and they partnered up with Steam, so you can use Steam, which I think is the reason why the Steam Link is out of production because they paired up with Microsoft to be able to stream Steam games to an Xbox. It's just cool added functionality so if i want to play xcom with a controller i can just stream it to the xbox and sit down without needing a steam link or anything which is really cool and west just ate a bean boozle and apparently it was a good one he's happy those sour <laughs> the spoiled milk ones last night man yeah uh, this, this is my worst man I hate um those. let's see playstation oh so we talked about i think last week uh, PlayStation not allowing digital sales of their games anymore. Mm-hmm. So to add on to that now, PlayStation Store will now refund your pre-orders and games, but only if you haven't downloaded them. And that even goes for pre-loading games. 
as a pre-order. So if you preload the game and you want to refund it, you will now not get a refund. Do they auto preload? No. Okay. Uh, well, that I, I don't know. Fine. I preload I all it. the time. My wife hates it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly though, they don't they say that shit. They'll give you a refund if you right. bitch enough. If if you haven't done it a lot and if you haven't played it for like hours on end. It'd be nice if they took the Steam approach to it, which is you can refund any game as long as you haven't played what over three an hours hour, or something. Three hours, something like that. Yeah, Kooky, it was uh they won't they will refund pre orders and games, but only if you haven't downloaded them or pre loaded your pre order. Because I would rip somebody's shit to to shreds if I like pre ordered a game and they pre loaded it on my system so that it downloaded before I could even play it. And then I'm like, you know what? I actually don't want this. And I just go to refund it. And they're like, well, you already downloaded it. Uh, I know you haven't been able to play it yet, but nah, that, that would never fly. You just got to bitch at these people enough. They'll do what you want. And I get a All refund right. for Fortnite. I will give you every bit of money back that you paid for the Fortnite game, sir. <laughs> so uh, and then there was some uh, just some news of Game of Thrones limited edition Mountain Dew cans. Oh, yeah. What was in so there? one of the cans will have like the names of some of the the people Arya chants off at night before she goes to sleep, and then if she's you know taking care of any of them, they have a scratch through them. So I thought that was pretty neat. You get you some limited edition Mountain Dew Game of Thrones cans. Interesting. Uh, what else do I have? I wrote down here. Oh, uh, oh, for anyone who was just concerned about my humble bundle account. I know we talked about oh, that, yeah, yeah. and we were talking about how you had to. I read a thing; you had to mail a letter to them. I actually found a at the bottom of the page. You could email them. I emailed them my problem. Uh, they requested before I sent the email if I've ever bought anything. There's a code that comes with that, and you put that code in there so they can make sure it's you, I guess. And within probably a minute of me el- uh, emailing them, they emailed me back and they took care of my problem. And my Steam account is That's unlocked awesome. for yeah. two-factor authentication. I remember, um, was it Steam or Humble, Bu- Humble Bundle? Humble Bundle. Okay. Um, I remember when when we were talking about it last week, you, you you sent us the picture like the next morning, or maybe it was that night, and it was like lightning fast that they fixed that yeah. shit. Oh, it was literally the same minute I sent the email. They had already sent me one back saying it, my account was open. That's right. awesome. so a lot easier than the stuff I found online. So just for anybody that needs to know that. Speaking of, last night I found out, my buddies and I had just been talking that we were going to start playing some League of Legends again just for old time's sake. And my League of Legends account got banned for someone using third-party software <laughs> on it. So mm-hmm. I sent an email to them today, a support ticket. It was like, hey, somebody else was using my account. Not a fan. For the last so- six years probably. <laughs> <laughs> right so here's the email they sent back to me tonight with what i need to know to get my account back if you guys don't mind me reading this, go for it now go for it so the basic level account username the summoner name current email the original email address used to sign up for it from what seven years ago at that's, this point yeah that's hot shit uh do i still have access to that who made the account and the other people with access and my date of birth you then know what? there's tier two questions. Oh, okay. What was the newest skin and or champion released when you started to play seven years ago? Where was the account registered? Which that one will be easy. Name of any refunded champions or skins in the past seven fucking years. Did I refund anything in that game? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if you have received or sent any gifts, please tell me what it was and who sent it or who received it. <laughs> holy shit when was the last time you had access to the account which i i do know that then there's another tier the first six digits and last four digits and the expiration date of any credit card or cards used to purchase the in-game currency and any transaction or confirmation numbers received via email for the account that's all that right there should now, be all that they need right is that's what any I of think. those tiers what you have to do or you have all to do all those want, tiers uh I would just do I'm sorry for I think it's all of them so if you can answer a few questions to me we can work together to remove the suspension and help get your account back no problem so they want as much of this information that I can come up with for them 
I would just give him uh, answers and it'll be like N A N A N A on right. some. But if you have the majority right, I mean that should be enough. Right. Like I purchased a good amount of RP on that account. Like I have a bunch of transactions that are in my email, so like I should just be able to send them those transaction numbers and stuff and yeah. call it good. The the weird ones like what's the newest <laughs> skin and or champion release when you started to play? That's lame. Yeah. I think I think um I thought it was bad with when you lose your shit to Steam. And you got to get, you got to send them a picture of your driver's license and shit to get it unlocked. But That's never mind. League of Legends takes the uh, takes the cake. Great, takes Riot. The cake. <laughs> Way to go, Rito. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. And then the only other news I had, which was pretty exciting, that I saw today was: Have you heard who is playing Chucky in the new Child's Play? No. Movie? Yes, but I forget who it was. Not I'll give you the know. initials. Here's the initials. M M F H. That's right. You're not going to get it because it's Mark motherfucking Hamill. Yes. Get out. <laughs> yes. Nope. Damn. Yeah, that's some shit. That is some shit. So that's going to be awesome. <laughs> I would fart in all four of your mouths. I would allow you to do it. I mean, I would toke. Up. I'd, I I'd would suck fucking... a Lindsay Lohan fart I, down. Having had sucked a fart and it was my own. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the right place, Lindsay. Let me tell you, right? we, we sniff I our would, own farts in I, jars. I would uh, consider us a fart sniffer. connoisseurs. Now yeah. she knows we are into that. Right? I can't. Uh, I wouldn't I, go that far, but darn. I do need to fill my jar up and get the uh, get the yeah, old cooking. bit the the old bit uh, yeah. goals back out. <laughs> the, the bitty wheel out. God, look at Kooky. They already did. I know. Some people are just late to the show, man. Late bloomers. Right. And I ain't talking about panties. <laughs> Bloomers. <laughs> hey, what else we got? That's all I got. I have rambled mine off while we researched whatever. Hey, Pascal. Um, <laughs> no Man's Sky. No Man's Sky will come out with uh, VR this summer. What was the big announcement? And uh, the main developer, Sean Murray, actually uh, released a few press uh, stuff. He said he didn't feel comfortable showing it to the press, but then decided to do it anyways in the last minute. And um, there was like Verge and some other like um, gaming news, I don't know, like bigger gaming sites that actually tested it for like three hours. And they say that's a reason to buy VR heads and that's a game they always wanted to play like in vr so that was pretty exciting because i'm a big fan of the game so that was pretty cool to see that you know like vr like every article about the vr experience in no man's sky seems to be pretty awesome uh hmm. related to vr steam valve announced their own vr headset coming out open for pre-orders on may 1st it's called the index and with that there's rumors that there are three first party valve games being developed to be released when it comes out some people are saying maybe it's a new half-life game because it's first party hmm. i don't think so i think they will I never. Think everybody in the world me. wishes they would do half-life and they just won't i think yeah. now it would they would if it will come out it would not live up to the hype it created over the years <laughs> <laughs> Craft Daddy wants to know if there's a new Fraggle Rock remake. I'm telling you, brother, you come to Kentucky, you see all that Fraggle Rock you need with these meth heads running around. <laughs> Fraggle oh, Rock man. is coming back to HBO. Dance cares away, or is for another day. Fraggle Rock is coming back to HBO. Uh, it's returning to the network and its streaming service. 33 years. Uh, it doesn't say anything about a remake. They're just bringing the show back. Oh, hmm. June 15th release date for the index. Did you all want to battle Skyrim and Witcher 3? Ugh. Oh, how was Elder Scrolls Blades? Horrible. <laughs> you know how far Did you I made own it? a cell you know, phone, bro? You know how far I made it? I stopped as soon as it asked me for a Bethesda account and to create one. I'm like, no. Nah, oh, like boo. You're the only one of us who has access and you didn't even try it. No, it's just like, I hate when games do that. Like, especially mobile games where you have to sign up on like a specific site and then sync them and whatsoever. And, you know, I was like, nah, man, I just wanted to try it out how it is. But I there was like, this one combat in the beginning as a tutorial before you log in. And I was like, that's freaking weak. It's just like swipe, swipe. It's all animated. It's it reminds me of like a weird, uh, yeah, Fruit I don't know, weird, yeah, almost like that. There was like a, a fighting game where you just swipe 
and then you know you see like a sword kind of and then you hit it, him and then he hits you a hundred times and all you see is a sword and you just hit him and like that's boring background was just like a fiery pit like there was just fire and like black backdrop and then a sword with the you know l like hitting you and that's <laughs> it i was like that's horrible man i thought it was i thought it was like a card game that you it's like i was like, playing oblivion again there is a card game yeah, so, but yeah, the eight of Elder Scrolls Blades is from so far what I've seen in that little bit there in this early access, I guess, what it is. I don't even know how I got access to it because all of a sudden it, it was like downloading on my phone. I'm like, huh? I don't even know how that happened, but yeah, horrible. <laughs> I don't know. I, I might have to log in to give a better review, but I can't promise a good rating since it's already the one combat scene was already enough for me to be like, oh. <laughs> so. Hmm. That sounds like you got just as far in I it had... as I did Fallout 76. Yeah. Well, Enter your I read account. some stuff that where I... they talked about how Blades is actually good. Like, there's people like, oh, this is kind of what mobile gaming's been missing. I, I... Maybe it is. Maybe I have to try it out more. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Fallout 76, I have to give a little bit of credit right now. I played it um, like a few weeks ago a little bit again, and it's actually uh, a lot different now. I mean, it's still the same kind of concept, but it runs better. It it's a lot smoother with stuff. I mean, I don't know. It's still ways off. Probably in like two years, it might be actually fun. But yeah. Okay. Mm. Cool. I want to talk about you. something real quick. Oh. Um, before I don't know if anybody else has anything else, but I'm good. <laughs> uh, I just want just want to give you guys a, a like a kind of social commentary on on either our best work or just what people want in general. But I want to point out that out of, what, 30, roughly 30 episodes now, our most downloaded episode is titled The One with the Camel Toe. <laughs> Wasn't a particularly great episode that I remember. Nothing about it made it, you know, so much more interesting than anybody else or any, you know, any, any of the other ones. But the fact that it said camel toe in it apparently attracted more people, so it's like <laughs> far and above yeah. the most downloaded one we've had, and I just Maybe felt like pointing that out. Clickbait. Yeah, Maybe. apparently yeah. like yeah. titties and, and shit need to be in our, our... Is Lindsay still here? Can you name our next episode? <laughs> I don't know if they're allowed to talk yet. The one uh, with the huge load of... Yeah, we did have that. Uh, um... Anyway, um, anybody else got any gaming news? I don't think we really want to talk about Skyrim versus Witcher because that's going to lead to a fight. Nah. And I think it's two different beasts. That's, that's what I. That's what I was in. saying too. Um, I mean, like, I, I will, I will touch on it. A lot of the stuff that you said, Pascal, was yeah, was know. right. I'll touch a lot of stuff, but at the, <laughs> the same time, it's touched. like, can you have a house in The Witcher where you collect every single thing you want and put it where you want? Can you have treasure chests full of shit? No, you have an inventory that can only hold so much stuff, and that's it. It's just different. It's just There's different. There's a stash. Yeah, well, no, but it's not the same. You can't, you can't go out and put it, put shit on display in your house. And I give you that. I give you that. It's not this just that. that. It's it's you, fundamental you, differences everywhere throughout that game. Yes, you, as a narrative game, The Witcher is way better than Skyrim. But as a free roaming, build your character however you want to type of game, yeah, the I think Skyrim offers more. I'm not saying it's better. Um, it's just different. Every action you do in The Witcher with even side with affects the main game. Like you feel like that whatever you do has consequences, and and <laughs> Skyrim it doesn't do that. But <laughs> As Nugget said, and he's right with that, it's kind of like comparing Call of Duty to a Battlefield, for example. While the core is the same, which in Witcher and Skyrim is an RPG, they're completely different things. And then with, with, with Battlefield and uh, Call of Duty, for example, one is an arena kind of style shooter. We you know Arcadi, Arcadi, Twitchy, while the other one is like a mid core Arcadi simulation, it's I guess. kind of what I was thinking earlier. Like when I read that article that you had posted, one of the things that they posted on there was that projectile weapons don't last as long, which was a point that made the Witcher, it said was made the Witcher better because Geralt can get hit with an arrow and by the time the fight's over, he no longer has the arrow stuck on him, whereas somebody in Skyrim still has an arrow stuck in him and that's stupid. Does I that really make the Witcher better? 
I don't think no, necessarily, I mean, that, that but was, that's what they said. They said that was their reasoning. It was their article, 15 reasons why, and that was their reasoning for a reason why it was better was that the projectiles disappear quicker. It, it's, it like say, just, it's like saying that Final Fantasy is exactly like Skyrim because they're both open world. They're both RPGs, but they're nothing alike, even though they're both yeah. open world. You know, they're, it's just not the same. So that's, that's the only point I want to make. Like, I don't want to go into it. I mean, they're both old games. They're both great games. I never said, like, Skyrim is bad. Call of to Duty is totally an arena shooter, dude. No, an arena shooter shooter is Unreal Tournament or Quake. Those maps no, are arenas. I mean, it's just you, a modern arena. I I mean, that's no. and that's and it's it has an arena shooter style, which is, um, you know, you you can't just, like, it's a you know a set area where you you know you cannot just go out of bounds and be what about in the an small halo area. maps i i don't I, think halo is an arena shooter either well i mean i think they are in, heavily inspired by I mean, dude, inspired sure but, are they but purest arena shooters no what I makes mean, what makes could, that uh more a uh, uh, faster paced and more frenetic game okay well i was just thinking about the map design yeah, that's what I thought too. Like it's kind of like limited. Uh, you don't have a lot of freedom. Very symmetrical kind of and yeah. Uh, so yeah. Okay, coming from a person who played a shitload of Unreal Tournament. Why should um, I play Quake the, alone? The mod, the map modding community made it so the majority of maps I played on in this arena shooter weren't really arena shooter maps. I think it has way more to do with the core gameplay than it does. Okay. With the map build, but what do you think, Sasquatch Nugget? I think Call of Duty is hot garbage. Oh, it should never be commented on this shit. podcast ever. Hot garbage. All right, what else we got? Do we have some wacky news? I don't know if you guys are done. I got wacky news. I'm I don't done. have any other game news. Yeah. yeah, I think I don't have any other game news. All right. Well, I'm into helping you guys make all the money in the world with this next story. So. Get your listening ears on, take your pads and paper out, and let's get started. So what is what would you guys think about besides working your normal job? How would you become a millionaire? Bitcoin. If I was a girl, I would do ASMR. God, man, could you imagine? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if, if you were like, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> He's like... Poor female ASMR. All right, Westman. I don't know. Well, I'm not a millionaire now. Oh, okay, Pascal. Time travel back a few years when I had the chance to buy Bitcoin yeah. for very little, and I but didn't. don't don't buy too much because you don't want anybody to notice that you're buying a lot of stock and selling it. Oh, I don't care. I just do it all. Like buy hundred Bitcoin, boom, done. One day I'm lucky. Boom. Yeah. Remember the Titans. Hmm. I'm trying to think of which one it would be. So anyways. I think I know which one. This man made a living. He made $122 million. And he scammed the shit out of... This is when you know you have too much money. Two companies. Google and Facebook is where he made his living. So 99 million came from Facebook and 23 million came from Google between 2013 and 2015. So in two years, he made $122 million. How? He typed them letters. Invoices. And then invoices. And they paid him. For services that they never, he that never they rendered. they never received. Oh my God. I could see it happening. <laughs> you have too much money. Because let me tell you, if I fart around my bank account, I know what's going on in it. <laughs> <laughs> and to be able to just send a bill to a company and they paid it up to the amount. Like, I want to know how much these bills were. Like, surely it wasn't $15 at a time, right? Like, no some way. Pretty no big way. bills for two years. When you think about you it, it could be for so million. many different locations and... I mean, I know it's so it's it seems genius because I'm sitting here like, well, yeah, if somebody farted around my bank account, I'd know about it. But if I was if if they sent an invoice, if somebody sent an invoice like that to the people that I work with at the at the, at the place I work, 
I guarantee you they would probably pay it without question. Yeah, you just you just invoice them for a consult software consultant. Boom, hit them with how much did you say you made? I'm sorry, I didn't. 122 million to get. Oh yeah, hit them easy. Hit them with software consultant. 300 thousand services rendered. Yeah, Done. I mean it's they wouldn't bat an eye at paying that. Did he go to jail or still have it? Um, that's what I'm reading a little further into because I didn't get to read it all when I had seen it. Um, it looks like he's agreed to pay back. He forfeited. Uh, let's say that he agreed to forfeit fifty million of it nice. because no one knows where the other seventy-three billion is. He slashed it, buried it in gold. Ron Swanson, that shit. He, yep. uh, so apparently, he money laundered some of it. Yeah, I, you would have to. Cash away in Cyprus, Lithuania, Hungary, Slovakia, oh. Latvia, Latvia, Latvia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get down here to see if he if he did any time. Get that they, good bacteria in your guts. They didn't Cookie even. Says they pen, didn't, prison is pending. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, could you imagine? Wes That's Swain wants cool. to know: Do I look like uh, Ryan Hurst? I don't know who Obi that is. from Sons of Anarchy. New Age uh, D.B. Cooper. I have to pull Wayne. up a picture. What's his name? Ryan Hurst. No. No? I like that, Rio. So. The New Age. I mean, he's got a long beard, mind. but no. Fred Durst? <laughs> <laughs> I'd launder through mad. It's all about that. He said, she said. You look oh, like Gunter. Shit. I'd give him more Fred Durst at this point Gunther. than that other guy, yeah. That I was going to say the other day with the red hat and red sweatshirt, I thought he looked like Fred Durst. Hell yeah. Trim it up a little bit and come in here screaming one day. We'll find out. <laughs> Shoot. So, jail or not? Did we figure out? Uh, it didn't say in there, but uh, somebody, I think somebody said prison. How did he get caught? Mm. I mean, if you don't know, you don't know. No, I don't know. I need to make a movie through. about that shit. We yeah. assume that he went to prison soon. He's probably, going to prison probably, soon. Probably, probably. I don't know. If I had $73 million squirreled away, I'd have a damn good attorney to get me out of it. <laughs> uh, can I back up your wacky news with a wacky news of my own? Do it. Yeah. There was this woman, <laughs> 67 years old. They found 27 contact lenses in her eye. They had <laughs> rolled back, back over the back of them, of oh, her God. eyeball. Oh, no. no. Uh, oh. She went in for cataract surgery, and they discovered 27 contact lenses. She thought that it was a normal sensation just because she was getting older and thought that her contacts had just fallen out. She didn't think twice oh. about... Yeah. I've had one in my life literally like go back to the back of my fucking eyeball and it took me like three days to get that shit out. I thought I was going to die. Part of the reason I don't wear contacts now. Pulling that out was I was so lucky that I was able to get just a little bitty piece because it was folded and it was folded in half and uh -huh. I got a little bitty piece of the core and was able to pull it out and you could feel it from oh, oh. it's I can't this imagine sentence, sentence to you the woman's eye had become a hard bluish mass of nearly 30 contact lenses held together by mucus yikes mm. that's Ugh. what she said <laughs> she had worn monthly disposable lenses for 35 years they don't know how long those were in there damn too bad they don't have serial numbers stamped into it God. Right? That, some of them uh... do have little like things on them though uh, McKenna has one that has to go in a special direction because she's got astigmatism mm -hmm. so it's like weighted mm -hmm. at one side and she has to line the marker got a little up. line up on it yeah yeah the way mine are yep it's funny, man. You put those you put those shit those things on the wrong way. Like if you put one on backwards or inside out or Sorry, Bama. put one with astigmatism on your eye without astigmatism, they hurt like fucking hell. But if it's where it's supposed to be, it feels great. So. Anyway, um Yeah. Anybody else got anything? 
Nope. No nope. says I. So we're Ninja. ready to get out of here then, guys. Ninja Star. Early night this early night tonight. Not really. It's still midnight. Yeah, but it's we've been going till like one. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, guys, did you know? Hmm? What? What? What's in there? <laughs> did you know that you can what? download this podcast on iTunes, yeah. Stitcher, Google uh-huh. Play? Uh-huh. Or Spotify? Yeah. So uh-huh. you can you can find you can find this podcast on Google Play, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, any of the other places you guys like to listen to podcasts. If you want to help us out, leave us a review on iTunes. It would be of great help, and it is of great importance that you do that. Like now. You can find us by Googling the name SideQuest Podcast. We'll be up in there. Anyway, uh, other than that, thank you for all the support. Thanks for coming out and hanging out, guys. Thanks for the the, the subs that were gifted to... Imaginary by folks name. and the craft daddy by as well. By <laughs> name. Well, you know, it was a huge load of cum got sub. That's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and craft daddy 77 got a sub. So anyway, um, next Tuesday, guys. Sound good? Yeah. Sounds yeah. good to me. All right. Well, we will see you all here next Tuesday around 10 and p.m. Do your homework and watch. Yeah. Do your homework and move my camera and watch. It follows. It Available follows. Available on Netflix. Can you all see? It, it follows. follows. What the Squatch is cooking? That's right. <laughs> la, 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 That's what we're watching. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Dudes, thank you all for hanging out with me. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye.